good afternoon everyone so it's been a few days since I've done a proper park tour and um, so we've done a few um, talks in the meantime I'm um, starting off in the giraffe house so I don't know how good the signal is um, so you have to excuse if it does cut out now and again um, I'll be popping back out of here in a minute um, but I wanted to show you the giraffes um, and they're staying indoors at the moment so um, I had to come in with them um, so they have got access to the outside if they want to go out um, but at the moment they're choosing to be indoors for a bit hi Holly and Chloe thanks for joining us so it is we've got Robin on the left here and Rudy on the right so they are basically the same age and um, one was so um, Rudy was born on the 25th of June and Robin on the 26th of June um, so they're only a day apart um, but Rudy is quite a bit bigger so that's the main way that we tell them apart is Rudy is the bigger and darker coloured one so where they came from is Woburn Safari Park um, and while they were there um, Rudy was the more dominant one which quite often you do sort of expect from the larger animals um, but now that they're here little Robin seems to have taken charge so when it comes to exploring new areas, going outside and finding new foods and things, it's usually Robin who takes all the first steps and then Rudy <laughs> follows. So giraffes can be quite um, sort of nervous and shy animals but they are settling really well now and um, they're getting there. They're eating well now, they've calmed down a lot um, and they're getting around alright as well now. So you know where the different bits are, where the um, sort of sleeping quarters are at the back there. Um, although we don't really tend to use those at the moment because they've been together um, all the time. They're quite happy to be um, together in, in the sort of communal area. Hi Dawn and Aria. Oh. <laughs> Uh, they are absolutely gorgeous um, they haven't been here very long but we've already all fallen in love with them they're both real big characters right. they like playing musical statues All right, let's pop back outside I'm going to see how much of the park oh, you've got lazy day <laughs> On the right there and Molly on the left we can see her feet hanging down <laughs> Bella Ann's outside so we'll go see him in a minute right so I'm going to try and get sort of a fair bit of the park done for you today let's see if we can maybe get round all of the outdoor bits of the park um, so I'm not going to be doing the chimp house, uh, reptile house um, or looking at the indoor areas of the moon bears because uh, I don't get any signal in those um, so at the moment we've just got the two giraffes and we have got another two planned um, so they're all going to be boys um, so it's going to be four, um, four males in a bachelor group um, but we don't know sort of when that's going to happen now because obviously uh, with everything that's going on uh, things like animal movements aren't sort of highest priority at the moment um, there's an enclosure right now, I don't you probably can't see him there's Jerky the bless buck <laughs> hi Joshua um, so we've got our black crested manga bees in here I did see Vladek earlier um, but he seems to be hiding a bit now always the way they will get a little bit camera shy oh there he is at the back there so that's our male Vladek so he comes from the Netherlands We've got our colobus monkeys, I think they're all out today. 
they were all indoors last time we were here because um, they were having their wormer. But it looks like they're all chilling out outdoors in the nice sunlight. I always love these, I think they're such a chilled out primate. Always relaxing. Yeah, though, mate. Yeah, it's nice laying in the sun. So we've got four boys here. So these came to us from Cotswolds Wildlife Park. Yeah, we're all keeping safe, thank you. So all the staff are all safe and the animals are all doing well as well. I was just thinking, it was, I think it's funny that they're such a chilled out animal, but they've always got that grumpy face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go see, I'm going to do all the big cats today. I'll go around that way. Um, let's see, no, Belayan's popped back in. No, so I've, I've, um, I get asked that a lot about the animals. Um, to be honest, they, in terms of their behaviour, they haven't really changed in regard to visitors not being here. The only thing that's sort of seems to have affected them a little bit, um, but not, um, is that um, where we're working with a slightly smaller team at the moment, um, their routines have changed a little bit. Um, so sometimes they're sort of expecting food that's at their normal times. They might have to wait a little bit longer. Um, but other than that, they're, they're doing really well. Um, so the Asian short claw daughters. I said we're still waiting for parts. We don't know when those are going to come. So they're a bit grumpy with the pond at the moment. Uh, but we will go down and see, um, see the smooth coated otters in a little while. So most of our animals are absolutely fine with the sun. Um, when we start get towards the um, sort of summertime and it gets really hot, we do have to be a little bit careful with um, certainly the red pandas. They really don't like the heat very much. Uh, so we do cool them down a little bit. And speaking of cooling down, he's out today. So we've got a rune here, the moon bear, and he's got a massive ice lolly today which we somehow managed to just crack open. So usually we have a team of, so this includes in front of house staff, that we've got 80 people who work for the company. Um, obviously where we're not open, certainly all of the front of house staff, they've all been furloughed at the moment. Um, and that goes for a small proportion of our keepers as well. Um, but we have furloughed them all, um, which means that um, Obviously, once we do have money starting to come back in again, that their jobs will be secure with us and they'll come back to us. Um, so you don't need to worry about our staff, they're all still being looked after. Hi Sandra, nice you can catch us before you go to work. Hi Jim. All right, he's gone back in. So I'm not gonna go over to his window because we don't get any signal there. Ooh. I thought I saw it spotted roots, but it wasn't, it was a rock. <laughs> oh, he's back where he was the other day. <laughs> so we can't really see him there. You can just see his ear. So that's roots, the lynx. He's having a lazy day. So usually you can see him quite nicely from that window over there. Uh, but as I said, we don't get any signal there. Uh, well, at least I don't. Um, so we're not going to see him today. Now we're looking forward to hopefully having you all back soon. But I, mean, I had a few people who have asked um, when that's going to be. Um, and as it stands, I'm afraid we don't really know. Um, so that's just going to depend on what's happening um, and what the government guidelines and things are. So until then, we'll keep doing these videos so you can still keep seeing the animals. Um, but I wouldn't like to say we're going to be opening on such and such a date um, because at the moment we just really don't know. Hi Sarah from Cornwall. So I'm just up in the, um, so that was the little Himalayas area. So it's up here. That's where all our animals from the Himalayan foothills live. 
and then we've got the rainforest SOS area down there which I've just come from before that and over here we've got our American miniature horses so that's Duchess on the left and William on the right William's the brown one hi Vicky So with the pass, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, if you want to send some money over by renewing them already, um, you can do. Or if you want to wait till um, the park reopens, that's up to you as well. Um, but any time which is lost um, while we're shut, um, we'll be adding back onto your passes. So either way, you won't be missing out. It's completely up to you which way you want to do that. Interrungs, having a snooze. So we haven't decided quite how we're going to do it yet when it comes to reopening. Um, but what obviously the animals are come first for us. Um, so we'll make sure that whatever we do, however we do it, um, it works for the animals. So you don't need to worry about that. We'll 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 figure something out. going for a walk in the orchard <laughs> so the um, the horses they won't have any more babies no he might try but he can't <laughs> yeah so your passes have been frozen you don't need to worry about your passes um, once we reopen again um, they haven't been frozen as such but what we're going to do is add on so it might take a little while to get through them all but uh, we're going to sort of manually add on all those dates that you've missed um, so you're not going to miss out on your passes, so don't worry about that. My Gloria from Enfield. Oh, and Glasgow. Dartford, Susan. So the foal's still here. She's um, living at the, at the front of the park. Um, off the top of it, you caught me there, Daniel. <laughs> I can't remember the name, the, the price of the passes, but if you have a look on our website later, you'll find them all there. Right, so the other day we had some people that wanted to see more of Ted, and we had some problems because of the signal in there. But here we've got Ted now. So this is our male um, Aldabra tortoise. Um, he's absolutely lovely, and he likes attention as well. So he absolutely adores the attention. Uh, the girls, they're not as big of fans but so the horses they were called um, Duchess and William this guy here is Ted the girls I'm not sure what their names are the, the keepers name some of the animals and don't always let me know <laughs> hi Nikita Swanscombe. Is that near London? I can't remember. Um, we'll be going to see the lions in a minute. Hi, Debbie. Tone. Yeah, the giraffes will be waiting. So Ted, um, off the top of my head, I'm not exactly sure how, uh, I can't remember how old Ted is. He's not very old, um, he's still, I believe, under 10. Uh, I've got a feeling he's 8. Um, but he's still, he's still a young lad. So he's got three girlfriends. I don't know if that makes him lucky or not. <laughs> um, but he's still, he's not quite sexually mature yet. He's not interested in them at all. Um, and they're definitely not interested in him. Um... Oh, hi, yeah, yeah. Hi, Katie. We know Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. So, Ted is, um, he's only about half grown or so. Um, so, you, potentially he's going to get double that size, but maybe even bigger. Um, so, he at the moment, he weighs 80 kilos. Um, luckily, the girls aren't um, quite as um, big as him because uh, the other day I had to move one of them back into the house 
you back. Sorry about that. Someone's trying to use my email. <laughs> Google's warning me. Um, so yeah, so he is 100. No, he's 80 kilos. Average weight is about 150, 160 kilos. Um, so he's only about half grown. That's why we haven't got any babies. Um, here we've got Nando the tape here. But potentially the tortoises, they can get over 200 kilos. So he might get up to three times that size. So this is Nando, this is our male tapir, and we do have a female as well. I think later on in the week we've got a tapir talk, um, so come and join us with, for that. I'd love to see those in the Seychelles live. If you've got any pictures, put them in the, um, after stick them in the feed, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see those. You have never seen any tortoises myself in the wild. I've seen a few um, turtles, green sea turtles, but never tortoises. So I'd be really interested to see some pictures of those. Um, so we've got a big cat talk coming up as well. So I'm not going to go down to the end and see the cheetah today. So we'll see where the other cats are. We haven't got any babies with the cheetahs at the moment. Uh, not the cheetahs, the tapir. Um, but breeding season has come and gone, so who knows? We'll keep you updated if anything happens on that front. So here's our viewers. So we've got Binks at the top there. That's our male. And then down there we've got Lola the female. We don't do a tapir experience, I'm afraid, no. Yeah, we'll see the penguins in a bit. Our two pumas there. Oh, somebody else has seen giant tortoises in the wild. As I'd love to see tortoises in the wild. I've, I've never had the chance to. Hearing you two talk about tortoises, that's made me want to see photos of you animals in the wild. So why don't we get a thread going with pictures of a lot of wild animals, holiday pictures. I think we need to reminisce a little bit. I think I'm going to do that later. I'm going to share some of my favourite pictures that I've taken in the wild, I think, and then see what you guys come up with as well. I think that sounds like a good idea. So those are our Jaguars. Uh, so we've got um, Luna on the right. The black Jaguar is our female. And then Loki on the left there, the spotted one. Right, it's settled. I'm going to do a post after this with a load of, I'm going to spam you with holiday photos and then I want you to spam me with more holiday photos. Let's think about summer's past. So with the capybara, um, we're, not, we're still making some decisions about what we're going to do with the lake. Because um, it's a naturally filling lake, um, we do need to, sometimes we do worry about how low the water levels go and things. So we, um, we're having a look at that at the moment. Um, and then we'll have a think about, see whether we can get capybara again. We'll see. So I was looking for them and I missed this guy here. <laughs> so here we've got uh, Brutus, I think. Let's have a look, fella. Yeah, so we've got Brutus there and then Clarence over the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous animals. They are absolutely beautiful animals. We're blessed to have these two boys here. I think I've started saying good. <laughs> Everyone's thinking about their safari pictures now. 
I'd like to see if anyone's got any um, big cat photos. Um, oh, that was a bit loud for the turtles. So there's one left there, sitting on the side. So a lot of people um, mistakenly often say we've got loads of terrapins. Um, we don't. We don't have a single terrapin at the park. We've got lots and lots of turtles though. So terrapins actually only refer to one species of turtle, which is um, an American species, which we don't have here. All the other terrapins are turtles. Um, so we're not going to be getting any female um, lions. Um, so they came here as rescues and we said right from the start that they had a tough start to life um, and we're not gonna uh, we're just gonna let them chill out um, so that's them um, so they are I believe 13 years old oh let's see if we can see this little girl before she runs away oh, hang on there we are So that's one of our European wildcats. I can't tell them apart, I'm afraid, so I don't know which one this is. So we've got two females here. They're both older ladies that have um, retired from the breeding program. So we did used to um, be part of a wild release program for um, wildcats, uh, but the particular program that we were part of um, stopped some years ago. Um, I think that must be about nine years ago. Foxes, so no, we don't really have a problem with foxes here. Um, so as part of our license, we do need to um, make sure that we do keep on top of um, problems with foxes, rabbits, and things like that. Uh, but we've got nice high fences around the park, and we've got a double perimeter. So you can see our perimeter fence. Um, you might be able to see it. So we've got... In this enclosure, for example, you've actually got one, two, and then three um, layers of fencing there. So yeah, so because of the, the height of our fences, we don't really have a problem with foxes. And we do have to make sure we cut back trees and things to make sure they can't jump over. Um, but touch wood, we've always done well with, with foxes here. So that was Bindi, thank you Heather. So the lion's background, um, so they were um, confiscated in France um, from a travelling circus. I think that circus was from Spain. Um, they didn't have the right licences um, or conditions in um, to be working with them in France. So there are goats, uh, goats, geese. As you can see, they are happy to see me. <laughs> the rarest animals we keep. Um, the rarest might well be, I, I would say it's probably our Edwards pheasant. Um, so they are believed to be extinct in the wild um, and have been for probably about 10, 15 years or so. Um, so yeah, I'd say the Edwards pheasants are our rarest animal. Hi Harrison. So here we've got our penguins. So if you look back a few days, um, you'll see a nice video of our penguins with Becky, our head of birds, doing a talk. That was a really nice video. So we've got uh, the younger, so the ones that you see at the front here, uh, those three, they are from last year. They're about a year old, give or take a few weeks. Um, and then the ones with the sort of thick black um, line across their chest, that's our adults. I think our oldest one is 11 years old. Yeah, we'll go see the wolves at the end. I think that's probably where we're going to finish today. It's down by the wolves. Mm -hmm. 
Hi India. Yeah, so our keepers are doing an absolutely brilliant job at the moment still. Um, it is hard for them to be working at the moment because obviously there's a lot of uncertainty with things. Um, obviously we're having to think about making sure we keep them safe um, for the sake of themselves and also for uh, loved ones and things. Um, but no, at the moment it's, it's working really well. And we've still got the majority of our keepers here. So I think the tigers might be indoors. Troy Blade! Come on boys! Yeah, we see the meerkats as well. Hi Ella. Uh, giraffes are settling in really well. Um, if you go back at the end of this stream, you'll see them at the start of the video. I think we're all missing Troy and Blade today. It looks like they're staying indoors. Um, let's have a look. Troy, Blade! Come, boys! They're saying nope. It is too hot outside. <laughs> let's see if we can see them through the window. You know there's no waking up drawing blade if they don't want to. Hi Lexi, Ollie, Rocco and Renzo. So the penguins, uh, I'll go check out the penguins in a second see if look at the window. There we are. Having a chill out day. Yeah, so with the um, with the tiger in um, the Bronx Zoo, um, we've already, as soon as this all started, we put in place quite a lot of um, biosecurity stuff anyway. Um, so all the stuff, pretty much that um, is being recommended, we're already doing, um, just to be sure. Um, so the same applies for our primates as well. Ooh, he's up there on the bed. So the tigers, uh, not a, a rescue as such, but they were um, rejected by their mum. Um, so they came to us when they were still very young um, and we hand reared them. Because uh, the place where we got them from didn't have the facilities there for rearing them on separately from the mum. Hi Lisa, hope you're keeping safe doing your work as a carer. Absolutely brilliant work you, all you lot are doing. Um, so there's a lot of people, not just, um, so we've got the zookeepers, carers, um, NHS staff, there's a lot of people still working. <laughs> I'm hoping that you're at least getting to see um, these videos when you finish. So they do all stay online um, and you can get them on our YouTube channel as well. So there we've got our penguins. So as I said earlier, we're going to see what we do um, with, um, with the well, with all the animals and when we reopen see how we're gonna manage that um, we'll, we'll figure something out but we'll, we'll figure that out close to time once we know when that's going to be and then we'll let you all know in good time so Julian um, he suffered from a lot of um, health issues um, right from a young age um, so he needed a lot of support from his group um, and from us as well um, but a few years ago we did have to put him to sleep um, just because his health problems were starting to interfere with his life um, and they were getting a little bit too much for the group to help him with um, it wasn't fair um, to let them sort of look after him in that way um, and it, it, was, it wasn't anything that we could um, manage with drugs or anything um, so we had to make that decision I think that must have been a good three years ago or so now
Hi Lily. Hope you have a nice birthday on Thursday. Yeah, there's still a lot of work to do. We're always doing work here. <laughs> but it's getting there. We're getting somewhere close to sort of our vision for the park. No, so in terms of being out and about, um, the animals, they're not out any more or less than what they used to be. Um, so the, it, uh, the lack of visitors hasn't really affected their behavior. Um, and we've been monitoring that quite closely, especially with um, animals like the chimps, um, which is quite handy that seven months ago we started doing a, um, a study on them. Um, just every day, we three times a day, we mark down what they're doing, where they are, who they're with, all those sorts of things. Um, and there's been no real change in behavior whatsoever. We do have raccoons, but they were uh, sleeping when I went past. And so they're up by the penguins. What I might do, what might be interesting for people is once we do open up again, um, I'll have a look at all that data um, and do a little report about um, how the chimps spend their day um, and then I can include in that um, whether there was anything different at the moment. Hi Lizzie. Hi Tyler and Izzy. So there we had Pickle, and there we've got Ollie and Vera, so that's Ollie up here, and then Vera. Yeah, we'll head down to the wolves in a little while, so I'm just going to go around the back way to see the goats. There's one of our keepers. <laughs> See, so they're still keeping the animals busy with toys and enrichment, all those, all those sorts of things. So all of that side of it um, is still in place. Um, so you don't need to worry that our animals are getting bored or anything. We're still making sure that we've got enough staff here to be able to keep all the animals occupied. Healthy, happy, clean. So we have to wait and see what happens with that big space next to the cheetah enclosure. We've got a few plans for over there. Um, one of the plans is to extend the cheetah enclosure a little bit as well. So there we've got a Bennett's Wallaby. Um, so I have started recording a few videos of the reptiles. Um, I've got to work pretty much all day in the reptiles again tomorrow in the reptile house. So I will do... Uh, I'll do some more recording then. Um, so I know a lot of you wanted to see more of the amphibians and invertebrates. So I'll make sure to record a load of that. And I've had a few requests for crocodiles as well. So tomorrow I will be feeding the smaller crocodiles and I will record that for you and include that in the video. And then that'll probably go out next week. So that's Reggie, the deer. Another keeper, enjoying the sun it looks. Yeah. So we've got Samantha. It's yeah, it is getting quite warm today. Oh, the yeah. yeah love it. <laughs> Where's the youngest one? Is this the youngest, the youngest one? Youngest one is that one there, yeah, that's Sally's one. Yeah. And we've got some two over there, which are highly. Very nice. And this one was born about a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah. That little one? So this little one here is less than a week old. We haven't got any axolotls. Um, I do want to get axolotls again. Um, I used we used to have them here, um, and maybe when we we have got plans to refurbish the reptile house. Uh, well, that's probably going to be put behind a little bit with all this going on. Uh, when we get that done, we'll probably get some more then. So 
So we're not going to be doing any memberships for Sandwich um, Wildlife Park. Um, so that's not going to be open in the same way that we are. Um, just because it's not designed to handle large numbers of people. It is just going to be sort of for the tours um, and experiences. Uh -huh. Hi Leanne, hope you have a nice birthday tomorrow. trying to think what we've got on tomorrow um katie have birthday for tomorrow as well yeah so we're thinking about whether we can do an experience with ted who you saw earlier as you saw that he's um he absolutely loves um the attention so i think we'll be able to do that and we'll have a look at that the goats are naughty they are so naughty especially our billy Uh, so the sloth's here, a little bit difficult to um, to film, um, and I certainly can't do it on a live feed um, because I don't get any signal out there. But if you go over to the Sandwich Wildlife Park Facebook page, uh, there's two sloth videos on there with Georgia. Um, so with Sid the sloth. There's a guinea fowl. Hi Sinead. So someone said earlier about what's our rarest animal. Um, that's going to be these guys here. Um, so they're both boys in here. We do breed them. Um, I can't see them. Let's see if we can find the mum and dad um, in the tropical house. Oh, while we're here, while they're out. We've got the red pandas. I'll go to the tropical house in a minute. Hi Adam. Who have we got? Now we've got Yuzu at the front there. Yuzu, yeah. And we've got Mayshan just jumped cool. up there. Cool. I can never tell them apart. <laughs> it's always handy when there's a keeper. Yeah, she's got a <laughs> right head. And she's a little bit more of a dark face. She's a little bit bigger and she's a bit smaller. Cool. Easiest ways. Alright, so that is Yuzu who's just walking away. And Mei Shan over there, that's a female, and Yuzu's the boy. So our animal um, acquisitions at the moment are a little bit on hold. Um, so we have got some plans for the future. Uh, but I won't say too much just because at the moment we don't know when certain things are going to be happening. Um, and when we can afford to do them as well. Um, so for example the reptile house refurbishment um, was slated for this winter. Um, but and time will tell whether or not um, we'll be able to do that this winter still because uh, at the moment obviously we've got no money coming in um, so we've got no savings for those sorts of big projects uh, we don't get any external funding um, so we do have to save up for those sorts of things which I say obviously at the moment is not happening and um, so breeding season for these guys is already finished and uh, that finished a little while ago uh, we did see some promising behavior um, but we think that will be Yuzu's first breeding season, so we're not 100% sure whether he got everything right. Time will tell. Um, if he did, um, we'd be expecting babies probably sort of in the next few weeks, to be honest. So you might one day see a nice little feed where we say, oh, we've got baby pandas. But we'll see, right, I'm going to scout the... <laughs> so last time I went through there, I got pooed on. Um, that was the last time I did a stream actually, so I was a bit cautious this time. <laughs> so, let's look for these Edwards pheasants. We've got a diamond dove. Oh. Uh. Um. Um, so someone else about elephants, we've got no plans on getting elephants here. Um, so at the moment we have got 
a GoFundMe page. Um, but oh, that's our collector's parrot. He's not happy about having me in here. <laughs> Um, so we do have a GoFundMe page which is supporting what we're doing at the moment um, but we don't have anything at the moment for, for further down the line um, but we'll look at that once this is all sort of cleared up and gone. Hi Isabel. Um, so what I'll do with the Amazon wishlist is I will put a link up in the description so you can see it there. Uh, the response to that has been absolutely amazing. Uh, we can't thank everyone enough for the help that we've had with that. Um, every day we get a massive delivery come in of um, straw, hay, feed items, um, toys, stuff for the keepers. It's absolutely amazing, completely humbling. Um, and to be honest, every time we have a delivery comes, it's a little bit emotional um, because we just can't believe the amount of support that we get. Uh, we can't thank you all enough. Um, let's have a look what else was there. The Mother's Day offer, yep, we will be um, honouring that. Um, what we are going to do is set up a different date. Um, um, but we haven't decided when that's going to be yet because obviously we don't know when that's when we're going to be opening. But we'll sort something out. And we're hoping that if we can open by the end of June, which at the moment we don't know if we will, but if we can, uh, we'll also be doing another Easter egg hunt. Um, I know it won't be Easter. Um, but hopefully we can still have the kids come over, enjoy getting some chocolate um, and doing that. The pickles, no, she's still on her own. Um, and we are actually at the moment uh, talking about the possibility of getting her a different friend. Um, so we will keep you up to date with that. So I'm just hovering at the moment. Down there we've got the female Edwards pheasant. You can't really see her. I don't want to get too close because she is on, she's sitting on eggs. Um, so as I said, it's our rarest animal and she is on eggs at the moment. So fingers crossed. And so at the moment, um, the only, I think, grant that we are um, receiving or will be receiving is the um, supporting us with uh, the furloughed staff. Um, so that's a huge help. And the government is doing an absolutely brilliant job with um, the amount of support they're giving to businesses. Um, and yeah, so we, we, we keep our eyes open to see what we're eligible for and what we need and um, where we can go with it. Well, Lily, sorry you couldn't come to us for your fifth birthday. Hopefully these tours are sort of part way making up for it. Right, so we saw the red pandas. Here we've got the meerkats. Sorry guys, I haven't got any food for you. Should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Oh, that's where those tennis balls came from. So earlier we saw Brooke with some tennis balls and they've gone in for these guys. Bored of them already. <laughs> Hi Logan. So we got a bowl full of dinner back there. I just filmed a bowl full of dinner, which was very pleasant. So it's feeding time at the moment for these guys. Happy ninth birthday to you, Jack. Off for tomorrow. 
Yeah, it's a long video today, isn't it? <laughs> So I don't want to put the otters off too much because um, they're just doing their um, their feeding there. So these are our vervet monkeys. So they're quite often sort of a bit overlooked, um, just because a lot of people they see them and it's just a grey monkey. So they've at the moment they've got this whole area here. Uh, which used to be velvet monkeys and then um, capuchins. So our capuchins went to another zoo um, in Ireland. Um, so they've got this whole space now and we do have plans eventually to redo this whole area. Oh, the otters have been fed now so I can go around there and we can have a closer look at them. So yeah, so one thing's for sure that in terms of having the best job, um, we are very, very lucky that we get to spend our days with these guys still. Um, also, we're very lucky um, that we are still be able to get out. Um, we feel very blessed for that. Um, it is hard work at the moment, very hard work, um, but it is all worth it for these guys. And we always remember that we are, that not everyone's as lucky as we are at the moment. So we're hoping that at least we can in some way help you experience a little bit of the outdoors by doing these videos. And that's why until this is all cleared up every single day, um, we are going to be doing a video of some sort. Oh, Timmy the owl, he is right at the top of the park, up by the um, by the lemurs. So I'm not going to be heading back up that way. Why did the, why did who move? Was that the capuchins? So the capuchins got moved for two reasons. So one reason was um, that we wanted to make more space for the primates. Um, so sometimes in order to move, to make more space, we need to lower the number of species. Um, so we've got our stalk. Um, and then the other reason is that there's a stud book um, for a few different animals, uh, a few different capuchins and um, we were approached by one of the, by the subject for that species um, who wondered whether we'd be interested in moving those on to another zoo that was looking to start a group um, and then we would be taking on um, a new species further down the line so a slightly more endangered species of capuchin but we'll see what happens with that We haven't shown the lemurs uh, because they were, when I walked past, they were all indoors and their, their window's not great for um, filming with this phone. But if you have a look back at our video from yesterday, we actually did a talk with them and we introduced you to our youngest lemur who was born just a, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think. So if you head back over to our videos, you'll be able to see that. Hi Sandra. Hope you, you're still managing to keep yourself busy indoors. Yeah, pelican's a lovely sized bird. Um, so when it comes to birds, I, I do like the sort of um, larger species. I'm not so much a bird person usually, but pelicans are really interesting. I've seen those in the wild. So I'll put those some pictures of those in my post, in my wild animal post later on. So 
So what I'll do is I will go to the go see if we can see the wolves. Um and then I will head over to the chimps and see if they're outdoors. If they're outdoors I can show them off to you. Um if not that's where we'll end our little tour. But yeah, head over to um I'll after check the videos out from yesterday because we did a talk about them. About the lemurs that is. The wolves have run away. The keepers are doing some cleaning in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll have a look at Momo in a second. He is a Barbary macaque. Um, so we'll see him in a minute. He's the dominant male. Hi, Isla from Folkestone. So here we've got Mowgli, that's our male. Oh, Dakota's just gone past me, I didn't even see her. So we had the penguins earlier. Um, so after this, if you pop back, um, they're about halfway through the video, I guess. Um, yeah, I would say they're probably about halfway through. So all of these videos do stay on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. So you can always go back and see those whenever you want. Including the last tour we did, which was an absolute shambles, if anyone else was there. I got pooed on about five times. The camera kept going to selfie mode. I forgot everyone's names. <laughs> it was a nightmare. No, so we don't breed the wolves here. Um, Dakota is quite old. She's actually one of the oldest females in Europe. Um, so we don't breed those. We have bred them in the past. Oh, the macaques have got some enrichment. So we've got a few girls. I don't always know um, how to tell them apart. Um, so I'll, find, I'll see if I can find Momo for you though. I know which one he is. Where is he? Momo! Momo! Oh, there he is. He's at the back. You can usually tell that Momo is wherever the girls aren't. Because <laughs> they try and keep out of his way. Hi Callum. Hi Elliot. So that's Momo. So he's our alpha male macaque. So they have got some enrichment at the moment. So they've got these bottles. So we try and reuse as much of our sort of plastic as we can. Um, sadly, there are certain things where we can't get away with using a single use plastic. So what we try and do is make it into um, plastic that does get reused. So that's for um, enrichment of things. So these bottles have got um, bits of carrot in. So I have to tip those upside down. And then there's usually, let's have a look what they've got in these. Oh, I can't see. Um, so there might be juice in that. So it's got a slot along the top. What we do is we fill those up with juice. And they don't have to try and figure out how to get it out. So the chimps are really good at that. It's one of their favorite enrichments and they use paper or straw, leaves, grass, anything like that to soak up the water. And then they suck it off that. No, at the moment it's all the same on YouTube. Um, I have been trying very hard. Um, so we've increased our number of subscribers. Um, so we have increased our number of subscribers to 1,000, which is what it said I needed to be able to do live feeds on there. But I think with everything that's going on at the moment, they've got a slightly smaller team that they're working with. Um, which means that it hasn't been approved yet. So hopefully we will be able to do some more extra videos from there at some point. So hi Joshua from Margate. And hi Debbie. So we've got... So we've got Tara there. Did anyone see the photo which I put up earlier? Um, 
There's a picture of Georgia and Tara um, holding hands while grooming. Really, really, really nice photo. It's something you very rarely see, especially in captivity. Um, in fact, Georgia was the first female chimp, well, chimp in captivity where it was um, observed. There are a couple of wild groups of chimps where it had been observed before. So that was really, really nice to see. So thanks to Ruth for getting that picture for us. All right, it looks like the chimps are going inside um, where I don't get the signal. Hi Amanda, I did wonder where you were. <laughs> so we started this live feed from the giraffe. So if you go back to the beginning of the video, um, you'll be able to see that. So we've got Georgia here actually. We'll just pop inside and we'll see if we can get a glimpse. Hi Dylan in River. So there's Faye. We're not meant to have favourites, but that's my favourite chimp. She's beautiful and friendly. Right. Um, Momo does try to breed with the females, um, but he's never he's never been successful. Uh, he doesn't really know what he's doing, um, and he's usually let's just say in all the wrong places. So who knows? Maybe maybe one day we'll have babies. Um, we've never had to put them on contraceptive because he just doesn't know what he's doing. Um, right. So, all the chimps have gone in. I can't go in any further than what I was. Um, so I think what we'll do is call it a day here. I think this has already been my longest um, longest tour I've done. I think we've been spent an hour with me. Um, so I know a few of you have been with me nearly the whole tour. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Again, we really appreciate all the help we're getting. Um, donations we're getting coming in. We really appreciate every single pound. Um, donations through the Amazon wish list. Um, I've got another photo coming up later on today with everything that's arrived today. Um, we think you're absolutely amazing, all of you. So what, and I know possibly you might be getting a little bit bored of seeing the pictures of Amazon stuff, because um, I know I'm doing one every day, but we're getting deliveries every day and we appreciate it so much. We want to show off every single thing we get, because uh, it's the only thing that I can think of to say, truly say thank you and do these tours for you. Um, so appreciate each one of you. Can't wait to have you all back. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for, um, so you've got dinosaurs with me in the morning. So that could be interesting because I'm no, by no means a dinosaur expert, but I want to do something for the kids. So I will try my hardest tomorrow morning. And then in the afternoon, I think we've got big cats with Sarah. And then we're back on another tour the day after that. So see you all again soon. And thank you very much. Stay safe.